Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to learn about landscapes. And a landscape is a, a, a type of drawing that shows land. And usually it's done sideways, not up and down, but sideways. And there are different parts to a landscape that show the illusion of depth or deepness. Or things that are closer look bigger, and things that are further away look smaller. So we're going to do a landscape today, and we're just going to do the first part together, and then you're going to do the rest on your own using your imagination. So for the first part of the landscape, we're going to put a tree. We're going to put it on the side a little bit toward the bottom, so kind of somewhere in the middle you're going to make a bumped circle or a bumped oval. That's going to be the top of our tree. And then we're going to make two lines that come down for the tree trunk all the way down to the bottom of the page. That's our closest tree. That's the big tree. That's the foreground. That's the front. So now we're going to do another tree. We're going to go about halfway up the paper. And we're going to make one about half that size. So we're going to make our top of our tree a little smaller. And then we're going to go down with two lines and put them together. Uh, you can do a zigzag if you want, like there's grass, or you can just put a straight line. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do one in the background. So almost toward the top, but not all the way up. You're going to make a tiny tree. So we make the top even smaller, and then we make the bottom of the tree even smaller. So now, these trees look like they're in space. This is the closest one to us, and as it goes back, get smaller and smaller. Now our landscape is missing something called a horizon line. A horizon line is a line where everything under it is the earth and everything above it is the sky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my tree here and at the bottom of the tree it's going to be sitting right on my horizon line. So I'm going to make a line and your line can be wavy or zigzag that goes to the side on both sides. And now I have my three trees and my horizon line. Now anything I draw, uh, if I want to draw it close to me, it's bigger. So if I drew a bush right here, it would be a pretty big bush. But if I drew a bush next to this tree, it wouldn't look as big because the tree next to it is bigger. And th these bushes can be the same size, but this one looks like it's further away. So it's it looks smaller because if I was really standing here in real life um, the tree even though the two trees might be the same size if one's further away it's gonna look tiny to me so for the next thing what I want you to do is use your imagination and put add some details and maybe add some animals maybe add some uh, like a stream I could add if I had a river or a stream that was coming through here it would be it would get smaller and smaller as it goes back so I would do one line and I would have the lines far apart and then get closer and closer together until they're almost touching and it looks like it goes way back okay so add as many details as you can and then color it in you can color it in with just plain color or you can use patterns here's an example I did earlier with a class Okay, I started with the three trees just like we did before, and then I added the details, I added these dogs, I added the birds, I added the horse halfway back. Um, one more thing I want to say before we move on is make sure if you add anything that it's not floating. If I try to add a tree, but I add it above the horizon line and don't connect it, it, it looks like it's floating in the air because down here is the land and up here is the sky. So if you accidentally do that, you can just add a hill or something that it's sitting on. Okay? So that is the uh, a landscape. Remember, the front is the foreground, the middle is the middle ground, the back is the background, and the line where the earth meets the sky is the horizon line. Make sure you finish your drawing add details and color 
and then upload it to Schoology uh, under the assignment tab. All right, see you later.